Go. 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 And go. Good. All flows good together. What's a target for another rep? A chin? Where else? Chest, where else? Nose. Nose? Sure. Where else? Um, Back in the 90s, there was a boxer named Andrew Bellata. He was the number one contender in the heavyweight division. He was fighting a guy named Riddy Bowe for the, night, for the world championship. 12 round fight. By the 10th round, he was so far ahead that he couldn't lose. Unless they got knocked out or just walked. He's with Riddy Bowe, it comes in, drops that, but boom! Down goes Riddy Bowe. But that's the first time, so it just keep your punches up. Comes in again, they're moving around, drops in, boom! Down goes Riddy Bowe again. He warned this time. No points there, but he's still warned. Comes back again, drops that, boom! Down Riddy Bowe goes again. That's three out of three so far. But this time they take a point away. Illegal punch. Move around again, drops down, boom! Down goes Riddy Bowe for the fourth time. Fourth time, they disqualify Andrew Galani. Three more retains the title. Five or six months later on, Andrew Galani is finally a guy named Evander Holyfield for the number one contendership. It's a 10 round fight. By the eighth round, Galani is so far ahead that he can't lose unless he gets knocked out or disqualified. He's moving around, drops down, boom! Down goes. And, uh, Evander Holyfield. But now, they already know, so it's a warning. Keep the punches up. Drops in again, boom, boom. Down goes Evander Holyfield again. They take a point away. But still, that's that's six out of six punches that he goes down. <laughs> and then again, drop down, boom. Down goes Evander Holyfield for, for the third time. They disqualified him through the line. Never fought again in the United States. But we always think the upcut is a great shot here to the ribs. But in a self-defense situation, we're in close. Boom! That's a great shot. These guys are wearing steel cups. <laughs> <laughs> they still go down. So understand, in a self-defense, it's a great target. It's a great weapon and a great target. Understand this. The uppercut is thrown with the legs, not with the arm. Imagine that compared to that. So it's this. So watch with me, please. Jab cross, drop down with your front hand. Punch straight up, arm short, all the way up. All front hand, front hand, front hand. Your other front. There you go. All the way. Now see, if it's bent this much and he misses, there's the hook in there. So all the right side of your face, good. Now, now he's protecting you. See, if you're right, you don't move. Let's say you miss. Yeah. <laughs> so all the way up. There, now you're protected. Now my punch is protected. Besides, you pull this down, now look at my face right here with that. Protect before, during, and after. Palms towards you. Palms towards you. Palms towards you. Palms towards you. There you go. Good. Again, back. Jab cross. Drop down. Punch straight up. And back. Jab cross, drop down, punch straight up, and back. Keep your hands up. Jab cross, drop down, punch straight up, and back. Keep your right hand up, protect. Keep your right hand up, protect here. Jab cross, drop down, punch straight up, and back. Good. Jab cross, hook now. Then pivot all the way up with the rear hand, and back. Jab cross. Hook, drop down, pivot, all the way up. Good, back one more time. Jab, cross, hook, drop down, pivot, all the way up. One more. Jab, cross, hook, drop down, pivot, all the way up. Good. Now, some that walks by the, the windows, looks in, and we're punching straight up. This guy's going. <laughs> the heck's he hitting up there? They can understand punch or kicking body level, right? But he's punching straight up there. What the heck's up there? So a little better one. With me, please. Jab cross. Open your hands up. Big circles. 
Pull it to yourself. Elbows in. Not this. Elbows in. Elbows in. Big circles. Big circles. Look at that. Big circles. Big circles. Towards the mirrors. Big circles. A little faster. Bend those knees. Bend the knees. Big circles. A little faster. Big circles. Not waiting for them to eat. Other way. Other way. There you go. Elbows in. Elbows in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. A little faster. A little faster. <laughs> Good, stop. Jab cross, uppercuts, jab cross hook. Jab cross, uppercuts, jab cross hook. One more time. Jab cross, uppercuts, jab cross hook. What is that? Could be the start of one of your forms. But what is really the start of? Something called shadow boxing. Those four punches that we just done were absolutely perfectly together. They were perfectly together. Sit down. I want you to watch. I'm going to do about 30, 35 seconds. Something called shadow boxing. There's nobody here to hit, so I don't throw the punches hard. There's no target. There's nobody here to hit, so I don't have to throw it fast. It's a practice in movement. Not yours, mine. Watch how I start each combination. Watch how I start each combination. More importantly, watch how I finish each combination. Not going to be fast, not going to be strong, but it's going to be precise, which helps me. Bell with a boom, I'm moving around. Why? Why a jab? Distance one of the reasons. It's fast. It's fast. 